everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time of day you are watching this video, hello to you. As y'all can see, that is, uh, if y'all haven't watched my video before, that's my daughter Princess in the background. She's wearing her eye training glasses right now, and I'm just showing her instead of myself because I look a hot steaming mess today. So I, I would much rather show her. So that's just what's going on in the background right now. And we're watching uh, one of my favorite YouTube comment uh, commentators, Jay Wilson. So let's see. So this was a difficult update as it was a difficult story. Let's see where we start here. We'll start with the statement from Sesame Place. Uh oh, there we go. Because um, it's so much information to gather. I'm going to start this video reading uh, Sesame Place's official statement. I'm going to read a couple articles of the updates leading to the lawsuit that has happened. Then I'm going to show the video of the family that is actually suing Sesame Place, the family of the two little girls, the two original little girls from the video. And then the subsequent other videos of the racism that has occurred or the alleged discrimination, uh, uh, discrimination that has occurred at Sesame Place. So that's the way I'm going to present it because it's so much information. I've been a little bit stressed out over the past two hours trying to figure out how to put this together. And also just it's brought up some micro memories for me of micro racial aggressions I've dealt with when I was little that stuff never leaves you 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 know it kind of brings you back because we still go through it now and the first times it happening to me and not understanding what was happening to people in our community kind of talking to us like almost like we're stupid like I'm talking about the black community saying well what did you expect what did you expect the white folks to do type of thing when you're little to help harden you but it also damages you too when people within your own community treat you like you're supposed to expect to be not treated equally or fair and but that's a different discussion I didn't I didn't even mean to even necessarily go that direction let me pull it back to today's topic and just yeah this, it's just a hard story seeing that happen to children children don't deserve to be to watch others, other children, just because skin color be treated well, and then them not be treated well because of their skin color. Adults don't deserve it. Of course not. But children, that's just a whole nother level of horror. <sighs> so let me go ahead and read the statement from Sesame Place, Philadelphia. I believe there's also a statement from Sesame Place, Jersey, but I would never be able to present this story if I kept researching it was never going to end it's so much to look at uh but anyway sesame place philadelphia says our brand our park and our employees stand for inclusive inclusivity excuse me and equality in all forms this is what sesame place is all about and we do not tolerate any behaviors in our park that are contrary to that commitment we also are and have always been committed to making sure every family and every child has the best possible experience at our parks. And we are incredibly disappointed that that does not happen or when that does not happen. Regarding the incident yesterday, the costumes our performers wear sometimes make it difficult to see at lower levels. And sometimes our performers miss hug requests from guests. So I got to interrupt. They were able to see the child right next to a child, but not the next child. Or skip over, well, anyway, let me keep reading the statement. My apologies. The performer portraying the Rosita character. Rosita is a big problem. Rosita is a recurring villain in this whole situation. Forgive me. I continue. The performer playing, portraying the, char the Rosita character has confirmed that the no hand gesture seen several times in the video was not directed at any specific person. Rather, it was a response to multiple requests from someone in the crowd who asked Rosita to, to hold their child for a photo, which is not permitted. The Rosita performer did not intentionally ignore the girls and is devastated about the misunderstanding. We spoke to the family and extended our apologies and invited them back for a special meet and greet opportunity with our characters. We apologize 
to these guests for not delivering the experience they expected. And we commit to do our best to earn their and all guests visit and support. So now I'm going to go to kind of randomly different little news clips about this situation. Hold on. And just read off. It's not going to be in any set order because I can't, I cannot properly. Y'all making, let me go and cut this camera off. Poor princess. She like, you can take this camera. I'll take it off y'all. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to continue the story. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I just thought that was, you know, a, a friend of mine told me, he said, I need to make sure I'm on camera all the time. And that's very difficult because I don't always look presentable, but princess always look presentable. So I was like, well, let's, let's watch princess for part of the video. But anyway, I was just, uh, yeah, but no, she doesn't mind. She, Miss Princess is always camera ready. But anyway, back to the story. So this is going to be very random. Um, okay, that's kind of from the uh, Sesame Philadelphia. We already saw that. Let's see. Okay, let's see. There, okay, da, 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 da. let me go ahead and read. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me, let me let me properly read this. The family from the viral Sesame Street Sesame Place video continues to apply pressure as they proceed to call the park out as they allege that two of their children were were discriminated against. On Wednesday, the family, along with the social justice organization Until Freedom, held a press conference in New York to address the incident. During the press conference, the family who recorded the viral video, Jody Brown, was joined by her niece, Nyla Brown, one of the two young girls from the video, as well as her attorney, Beloy, oh, B. Ivory, excuse me, y'all, about to make up a new word, B. Ivory Lamare. It is revealed that their daughter, Scotty Brown, the other young girl from the video, is currently in isolation as a result of the incident. Let's see. When asked what the family is seeking, they made it clear there is no amount of money that will make that will make it right after what the experience has cost. Instead, they are looking for Sesame Place to take full accountability for the situation, as well as the termination of the performer in the Rosita costume from the video. Okay, and it, it went to say more, but I'm, I'm going to skip over that. Let's see. Huh, this is kind of confusing. I don't know if they're formal, formal, formally filing a lawsuit or they're kind of, kind of hinting at that. So I need to word my opinions carefully here. So this was from Neighborhood Talk, and um, it says, Neighbors, we previously reported that the family from the viral Sesame Place video has secured a lawyer, and judging by today's update, the case is solid as a rock. And that's a little bit of what I just read a moment ago. According to TMZ, one of the girls who got ignored is reportedly, again, traumatized by the event and now isolating with a family member to regain stability. The family member is a child's grandmother. The aim is to keep her away from the publicity. The lawyer says the little girl has been overcome with emotion, crying and upset because she can't understand why Rosita would treat her differently than white kids. Well, that's, that's a good point. And the family is doing what needs to be done. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's actually just along the lines of the same things. I'm, I'm reading the same things over and over again now. So now at this point, I'm going to play the official statement from the family and then after that i'm going to show you all everything i've been able to find of all the different instances that children of color so when our children of color black children have been ignored by the sesame street characters mainly it appears to be rosita is the problem and I, and I couldn't find a lot of video of Rosita over and over again, but I found a lot of still shots, but I, I wanted to produce video instead. So here we go. The press conference and then multiple, and then all the videos I've found over the past few days. Yeah, there's, there's several things that we've already said publicly that we would like Sesame Place to do specifically. Number one, it's very simple, a formal apology. And what we mean is not just, you know, somebody just giving a watered down something to pacify us. We want a genuine and authentic apology. 
Okay, we want the, the, the acceptance of responsibility here. We don't want some explanation that, oh, you know, the performer didn't see these two young girls, which one of them is in isolation today from the harm that has been caused by this company. The second thing that we're requesting is for the immediate termination of that performer. The third thing that we're gonna request is we're gonna demand that they take care of any type of health care or mental care expenses that these children have realized. Mental illness is real. Right. We deal with these issues all across the country. It only takes one episode sometimes to have a dire consequence. So we want to recognize that and make sure that they're taken care of in that regard. The next thing is that, again, as, as we go back to the first apology, I will tell you right now that we have information that we possess. We're gonna give this company, they got less than 12 hours to come out with information with a very genuine and authentic apology, or we're gonna put out evidence showing exactly what took place in addition to the video that you've already seen. Yeah. Evidence about this incident? Can you, help us? Can you help us with what happens after the video well, stuff? The family has already confirmed that you see what happened before. There were two Caucasian families and there was a lady that the character slapped the hands of after. Immediately thereafter, this family has came forth without the confirmation at that time, and they told you that that uh, performer immediately embraced another child immediately after rejecting the two girls. Ms. Now, Brown. we now have evidence of that, and we also can prove that the first statement that this company released was completely bogus. And we're going to give them a certain amount of hours to go forth and go ahead and tell us what really happened and accept real responsibility for what took place. Ms. Brown, how is this, a, can you come to the microphone, how has this affected your daughter?